lesson for today is about even and odd numbers. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify even and odd numbers. Let's recall. Let us count the blocks. Can you put all these blocks into groups of two? No, you can't put these blocks into groups of two. There is one block left without a pair. Look at the next set of blocks. Let us count them. Can you put all these blocks into groups of two? Yes, you can put these blocks into groups of two. All blocks got its pair. Let's discuss. We will learn about even numbers. Look at the set of cubes I am going to show. Observe four patterns. What do you observe? Do the cubes have partners? Yes, they all come in pairs. How about the numbers in between? What happened to them? The numbers in between are all skipped. What do you observe about the digits in one's place? The digits in one's place are 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. Therefore, even numbers come in pairs. They can also be grouped equally into 2. Even numbers also have 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0 in the ones place. Let us learn about odd numbers. Look at the set of cubes I am going to show. Observe four patterns. What do you observe? Do all cubes have partners? No, one of the cube in each set has no partner. How about the numbers in between? What happened to them? The numbers in between are all skipped. What do you observe about the digits in one's place?
the digits in one's place are either one, three, five, seven, or nine. Therefore, odd numbers has one cube without partner and cannot equally be grouped into two. They also have either one, three, five, seven, or nine in the one's place. From the discussions earlier, we learned that even numbers have two, four, six, eight, or zero in the one's place. We also learned that odd numbers have one, three, five, seven, or nine in the one's place. Let us test our understanding by putting the eggs in the correct basket. Basket A is for even numbers and basket B is for odd numbers. of the numbers below doesn't belong to the group. Use the numbers below to form the greatest three-digit odd number. The correct answer is Use the numbers below to form the greatest three-digit even number. The correct answer is Use the numbers below to form the smallest three-digit odd number. The correct answer is... Use the numbers below to form the smallest Three-digit even number. The correct answer is... Well done, kids! Top your shoulder for a great job! For more practice, click the link in the description box below.